Hello, everybody, and welcome to my 2023 album release tier list, right? So these are all albums that have released this year, and I'm going to do a tier list of my favorite ones, some ones that are not that great, and some that are amazing that you should totally check out if you're anything like me, right? So we're starting off with a low note here because this is the first one that appeared, Para Rucka, I believe with gizmo and eddie or something i'm not gonna lie i listened to this once and i was pretty disappointed uh because gizmo made an album called the gremlin i believe and it was honestly a masterpiece in the trap metal like art form and so going from that to this just feels like a downgrade i don't know i i listened to this once and i just was not a fan i'm sorry it, it's not a good album in my opinion it was a collaborative effort and i appreciate like all of the people who worked hard on it but honestly compared to everything else on this list it's it's not that great now on the total opposite end of the spectrum we have cement by black and biv this i keep saying this this is literally the album of the year if you love aggressive rap metal trap kind of influences you will love this album it's so loud it's so aggressive it's like my favorite project that has released this year quite honestly i love the sounds i love the samples literally everything about this project i just absolutely love i love black so much he's like one of my favorite rappers and biv was also a really good addition to this entire album both people were rapping this entire album and singing it's a good combination of rapping and singing and just a lot of really aggressive tones that really work out super well and I love how abstract the cover art is. It kind of fits the album and like the noises really well. And I appreciate that quite a lot. This I, I keep saying this is album of the year. Uh, and honestly, it's it's up here. It's 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 up here. It's a it's a really good album. Grim Age by the classic crime i love the classic crime they have a lot of really cool acoustic stuff they have a lot of good rock songs i listened to this album once and i'm gonna be honest it's not my favorite that they released it's their most recent release that was dropped this year it's fine it's it's good but it's just not like not my favorite album of theirs um it's not bad like at all trust me it's 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 nowhere near bad but i only listened to it like once and compared to all their albums that I listened to, it's not my favorite. I think Albatross might be my favorite still. So I'm putting it in C. This new Black album, I listened to it once. I think compared to his other albums, it's probably his like weakest performing album, honestly. Both like with streams and just with notoriety and also with the original song stuck in my head from albums ago. And that did not happen in this case honestly I, once i finished listening to it i'm like okay that was worth that was a listen um but honestly compared to his other albums this is this is pretty low on the charts call me if you get lost deluxe edition that's a good solid a honestly tyler the creator is an amazing artist um both in the rap and with the singer songwriter sphere he just keeps getting better um it's not my favorite album released this year mostly because this is actually a deluxe so the original album released like two years ago or something but the deluxe tracks are really good and specifically sorry not sorry uh is like my favorite from the deluxe album which is that and that song alone is an s but honestly the rest of the bonus tracks i wasn't super hyped about i did like the album like the original album but i don't know the deluxe songs besides the last one just weren't really my vibe but that last song with the music video is is so good so for that, it's getting an A. Abstinence. Oh boy. I've, all right, bad lad. Uh, I've tried listening to this so many times and I don't know what it is. I like bad lad as an artist and I did like some of the singles. The singles I think were good and it's good. It's just, I think compared to everything that's dropped this year, it, I'm kind of in the middle on it. Honestly, I listened to it over like Grim Age, but honestly, it's not like I don't think it's my favorite project that's dropped this year. It's good. It's just like not my favorite. Butcher House by Cemetery. Ooh. Okay. So this is a very much Chicago trap kind of vibes. It's distorted. 
in a way where the only way I can describe it, it's it's almost like he's using a Freddy Fish filter, if you know that, like a humongous entertainment, old voice acting filter kind of thing. I don't know if that makes any sense to literally anybody that's watching this, but that's kind of the vibe I get with the voice, like the, the screaming and the rapping and stuff like that. Honestly, I like this album a lot. I do. I think it goes above abstinence for sure, but I, I think Tyler's probably better, just honestly. Now we have 10,000 Gex by 100 Gex. I freaking love this album. I don't know if I love it more than the original album, because the original album was honestly a masterpiece. This one's good, but I think, their f I think their first album's better. I like the rock elements. I think it's definitely better than Grim Age, for sure. I want to put it high B, because I actually listened to it today, and it's still really good. But I think I definitely prefer the original 100 Gex album. And we have another deluxe album by Freddie Dread. I like this album. I think it's fine. It's kind of in the middle for me. Uh, it's not my favorite release because it's also a deluxe album. So the original album was like years ago. Uh, one of the reasons why I really love the deluxe album is because Danny Brown is on it. And that was my introduction to Danny Brown. And now I, I love that man. He's great great music i like it more than abstinence i don't think i like it more than butcher house though so it's going up there the the new spider-man soundtrack that dropped this year i'm gonna be honest i wasn't a big fan of this uh, i tried listening to it and i don't know i just don't like the fact that it's one producer throughout the entire album whereas obviously the first album i'm pretty sure there were different producers instead of just like one main producer throughout the entire thing so a lot of the beats just felt samey my favorite part of this album is little wayne's verse though so that gets some more points i'd listen to actually i think it goes below grim age i think it's fine the first spider-man soundtrack i think is just way better in general and that would be an s for sure because i just uh oh, so many good songs and also i just like the features a lot more on the first album we have three by Josiah. I tried listening to a few times. It's fine. I think he's trying to go for a more like singer songwriter thing, which is fine. I just think it's kind of in the middle. And we have scaring the hose <laughs> by JPEG mafia and Danny Brown. So I've been on a JPEG mafia kick uh, this year specifically. And that also got me into Danny Brown as well. This is definitely an S tier. I'm not going to lie. I, between these two albums, I've just been thinking, like, what have I found more enjoyment in? And honestly, I think for me specifically, it's Cement. Uh, because I love giving the most amount of love to, like, the smaller creators as well. I, I think I like Cement just a little bit more than Scaring the Hose. I think that album, though, uh, by JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown is really good. Uh, as, like, an experimental rap album, I appreciate it quite a lot i have a lot of good things to say about it but we have a lot more albums to go through i think whatever's an s tier i think is worth listening to for sure uh, and those two albums i think are definitely worth a listen um the walls have eyes by kill switch i'm not a big kill switch fan but i did listen through the entire album and i'm just not the person who likes slow soft singer songwriter kind of songs i did like uh, Black's album more though, but not by much. So it's going down there. A Gradual Decline in Morale, I think is what it's called, by um, Kim Dracula, who I do like quite a lot. I did listen to the album. I just thought it was kind of long. It's good. There's a lot of beat switches. There's really good production. It's mostly metal, which is nice. I, I'm, I'm more into like the bass heavy kind of stuff. I don't know. I'll put it in the middle. I'll put it above. I'll put it top actually we'll put it here in b it's good i listened to it over all of this honestly but i it, it just wasn't my favorite it's good it's just really long and you really have to pay attention to it because it's kind of like a storyline kind of album this one by Ditana, i think it's called northbound i'm gonna be honest i was i was really excited for this album i listened to the entirety of it it, this is like the longest album I've ever listened to in my entire life. So it's going to get points deducted on that because I don't know. I By the end, I was just like, I was kind of ready to be done listening to it. I didn't feel like listening to it again simply because of how long it was. But I did listen through the entirety of it. And I did like that there were story snippets and quotes and like voices all the way through the album. That I really like. I just think it was too long. 
honestly. And by the end, I was just like, I I didn't want to listen to it again. <laughs> it's going to get a C. It's in the middle. I did like it. It's just a really long album. Um, and by the end, it's you're just kind of done with it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Corpse's most recent album has been removed from streaming services. It's on YouTube though, thankfully. I love this album so much. And I'm so mad that it got removed from streaming services for some weird reason. I think the very last track, which is actually a bonus track, is like by far my favorite. I've listened to that song on loop so many times. This album, I could listen to it all the way through. The vibes are so good. It's so hard to explain. It's very melancholy. It's very moody. He like raps, but it's like the sad boy kind of rap that I have an affinity for. And I just, it, it's great. And it's not like this auto-tuned mess. It's like this guy like spitting honest truths on a microphone. And I felt that. I was like, I can tell you're being like actually honest in your music. And I appreciate that. So it's going in S. I, I'm so happy it got made. But I'm also very sad that it got removed off streaming services. So you have to go to YouTube to listen to the entire thing. But oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, now Riverkins. I don't even remember the name of this album, but it's the most recent album. Uh, I, <laughs> I, have, uh, I have some beef with this guy. So I submitted one of my songs that I made um, on a stream. Uh, and he said some things that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I don't really care though. It's fine. I listened to his album now, even before it happened. And honestly, I'm just not into like the whole, what's the word I'm going for? It just seemed very formulaic and the intro didn't really make a whole lot of sense with the theme of the album. It just kind of fell off. And by the time I finished the album, I'm like, well, what was the point of this intro? kind of thing so that kind of threw me off it's just too quiet for me i'm not gonna lie i like loud music and this just this is just not it it's just not my favorite and compared to everything that's dropped this year it just didn't really stand out to me this however 117's album oh my gosh every single time 117 drops an album they always spend like three years on making one album and that's incredible. So it's definitely going in S, but the question is where does it go in S? Cause I really like this album a lot. Honestly, I like it more than this. I do like it more than this. From a production standpoint, from a songwriting standpoint, ah, this is hard. This is so hard, I don't know. It's two totally different vibes. They both have really good songwriting. They both have completely different vibes, different production styles. One is more bass heavy, one is more like synth heavy. And honestly, I've been listening to this a lot more. So it just, it barely beats Cement. Everything in S is incredible, um, just in general. So it's not even a diss or anything. I'm just like, it's so hard. Cause like those two are like my favorite albums that have dropped this year, Cement and uh, Gloom and Bloom. I wish I could do a tie, but I can't. So I have to put 117 first because I also listened to 117 since like 2017. So I like grew up with them too. And then we have It's Okay by Never Rest. I'm going to be honest. This is my friend who I love quite a lot. And I think he makes some great music. I tried so hard to not put my friend's music on this list, but I really wanted to put this album specifically because there are a few songs that I really, really like from this album. And I do think this album is worth a listen. And I do think it's his best album. I did listen to this album quite a lot. Now the question is, where does it go? <laughs> I don't know where it goes in this list. I'm going to put it in like the middle of B. It's really good. I really like it quite a lot. It's also just like extremely different to literally everything that's on this list because it's very acoustic. For an acoustic album, I think it's really good, honestly. So much for Stardust by Fall Out Boy. I freaking love this album. This is a fantastic album. I think compared to some of their other stuff, it's not my favorite album of theirs, but it's definitely high. I Like, I really love this album a lot. I know some people don't. But I also like Fall Out Boy's more exper experimental albums. I loved Mania. A lot of people didn't like Mania. For, I don't know why. But I do really like this album. So it's going high A for me. Now Made in Hell by Scarlord. Oh my gosh. This is S. Uh, I, I think this is Scarlord's best album. He actually sings 
instead of just only screaming, which is, I think, really cool. There's auto-tune. It's a good mix of variety with the vocals, which I think is nice. I listen to this album in the gym every single time I go in the gym because it pumps me up that much. It's so aggressive. I love it. I just love Scarlord. I'm a Scarlord simp. So the Spiritual Meat Grinder by Zany. I listened to it once. I think it's. I think it's fine. I think it's good. Uh, I'll put it in C. Uh, well, actually, let's put it in. I'll put it in B. College Park by Logic. It's fine. It, it, it's not bad. It's just like. Yeah, I feel like it's in the middle. I, I I listen to all of Logic's albums, and honestly, it's a it's it's okay. It's not my favorite. Hope by NF. Ooh, yeah, I've ruffled some feathers with my opinions about this album. I I listened to all of it, and I felt this for years. I just feel like NF has gone downhill. And after I listened to this album, I'm like, this was honestly kind of disappointing. This is so formulaic. This these arrangements and beats like i feel like i've heard them before it's just i don't know there was just nothing new and exciting about it and i liked the singles a lot more but the overall album i wasn't feeling it i'm not gonna lie i'm also mad that people are now just now listening to nf when his earlier albums are just way better f for nf <laughs> okay maybe not f maybe like d he's fine i just i used to love his music and i just feel like it got so formulaic and it got so just i don't know maybe i grew out of it but he was my favorite rapper at the time now not really there's a lot of things i'd rather listen to before i listen to nf <laughs> honestly this is why by paramore i listened through the album all the way through I know they just made a remix album, but honestly, I haven't even listened to that because the original songs are probably better, but I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle. I like, I like the single is the singles. My favorite, the other songs I'm kind of, I'm kind of met on the more I think about it. So it's going in the middle Austin by post Malone. I'm not going to lie. This, this is a high a for me. I freaking love post Malone. I love that. He's going in a more singer songwriter direction. I very much appreciate that quite a lot i like the production he's going away from trap and it's in a more like acoustic drum kind of vibe that i do really like there are a lot of songs on this album that i like quite a lot uh the lyrics are just fun there are a lot of really good moments on the album that i like a lot now we have trippy red's mansion music uh low f it's trash it's like trippy red's worst album wait didn't he make another album yeah, he made an album recently. That one's also trash. <laughs> Put that on the list. All right, my throat's dying. I need water. Hope you enjoy this uh, freaking tier list.